Hey, what's up, students? Let's go over the power flower hour. Let's get my drawing tool ready to go. All right, so we're solving. We have a 3x plus a 16.1 plus a 5x equals a 12x minus a 3x plus a 13.6. Holy cow. We have lots of things to simplify. So first thing, it looks like we have x values on both sides and multiple x values on both sides. So I'm going to go ahead and combine the like x values on both sides. So it's a 12x minus 3x is going to be a 9x. I'm going to kind of cheat a little bit and just kind of keep all of my work in one spot. Sorry if I kind of get in the way of the answer here. See so a 3x and a 5x put together is going to be an 8x. Okay. Next move, I would go ahead. I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and pretend like that 16.1 is still there and the 13.6 is still there. Next move, I'm gonna subtract 8x from both sides. Sorry about my penmanship. Here we go. You're gonna cancel. So we have a single x over here. So x Rewrite plus a 13.6 is going to equal a 16.1. All right, cool. So minus the 13.6, minus the 13.6. Let's see, 16.1. I like to use my calculator just to make sure I'm safe. Minus 13.6 is a 2.5. So 2.5 equals x written backwards, who cares, it's the same thing. So 2.5 is gonna be my x value. All right, cool. So when you have variables on both sides and multiple variables on both sides, it might be best to combine the like terms. Now there is a trick, students. Let's say we had something a little bit different. Let's say we had a 2x on this side and then a whole bunch of noise. And then over here was a whole bunch of noise and a 2x. You could do this. You could cancel those out just like that. Okay, so stay on your toes for that. Maybe you'll see one like that in the future, but if you have the same variable on both sides, you can go ahead and cancel it, even if there are other x values on that side. Just go ahead and wax those right out, and then you can do your regular math. All right, cool. That's the uh, power flower hour. We'll see you in class.